Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number 3, and we're going up against an alliance called El Nuevo Universal. I don't know what that means. Apologies if I said anything that I shouldn't. But anyway, um, I've already scouted out my path, and I take path 1. Path 1 is a starburst path, and as you can see, they actually put a defender here uh, on the first node. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, now that starburst is going to activate Gladiator Hulk's Face Me ability. That is what you want. When Gladiator Hulk's Face Me ability is activated, he does a lot more damage and he heals up most of the damage that he takes. So he is by far the best option for path one. Uh, so far, I have not faced anyone that I would say, oh man, we can't use Gladiator Hulk for this. He has been able to take out everyone uh, that I've come up against. All right, so we're fighting Mephisto here, and Mephisto can be annoying, especially with that uh, healing of his, but you'll notice that I fired off my special one, which has a heal block. That's why he didn't heal uh, up during his regeneration phase. So it just made the fight go a little bit faster. So you just want to time it so that just before you're going to push him uh, to that threshold, fire off your special one so you have a heal block up, then push him there, regeneration will hit, but he won't get any health back. All right, now, this next fight, Omega Red, is an awesome fight for Gladiator Hulk. Even if it wasn't on the Starburst path, Omega Red actually activates, I believe it's his spores, activate Gladiator Hulk's Face Me. So this is a great matchup for Gladiator Hulk. All right, now you see he went indestructible. That is because of the global. The global node, the defense global, uh, allows them to go indestructible when they get hit too hard, basically. Now it's on a cooldown, so what I have to do is when I know I'm going to hit him really hard, I'll hit once, it'll trigger that, and then I just basically wait it out. And once it's out, I can go in take him out all right now I don't fight this uh, mini here I don't fight any of these uh, linked minis uh, but now we're ready to go to section 2 in section 2 I take path 2 now I caught a break and path 2 doesn't have a defender on that node now I've seen uh, my opponents do this before. It always is curious. I would think that they would skip the first node and stack their defenders later on, but you know, I'm, I'm not the one placing the defenders. Uh, now, I'm going up against Venom, and I decided to use Blade. Now, I don't have the uh, Ghost Rider synergy, so I'm not getting the uh, danger sense against Venom. But Blade doesn't really need the danger sense against Venom. As you'll see, Blade is more than enough to take out this Venom. Now Venom, the way that Venom fights, he is very aggressive. So you gotta be careful. And I still do not know how to evade his special two reliably. I've done it, but it's very risky, and in Alliance War, I'm not going to take that risk. There's no way, all right? So that was me in case you were wondering. Now, we're down here. I want to finish it off with a special two. There we go. And there's no reason I wanted to just because I can. Uh, and it looks so awesome. So... That is going to do it for that section. But we have a couple of more fights. Got some mini boss action as well. 
All right, now this uh, Sentinel wasn't ready. So uh, when I got back, of course he was down, but this Medusa was up here. So I said, hmm, okay. Immune to debuff effects, locked to a special one. I know somebody that doesn't care about that. And so I brought in my Starkey. He is still one of my favorites to fight with. I know some people, they don't like him, but look at the damage that he's doing. Because I have Blade, I already start with two, uh, I'm sorry, three Poise Charges. So I'm already hitting out the gate pretty hard. Just look at this. This is Starkey, okay? Now she has three Furies up, and that's why I'm only hitting her one time and backing off. See how I'm doing that? Just once, boom. And she's down. Now, I could also have just kept hitting her with heavies uh, if I wanted to, but that is a little bit faster. And down she went. So, Starkey, still a beast. He is a glass cannon. You mess up, and you will get wrecked. So now I'm looking over this, and I'm like, huh. I didn't take a lot of damage with my uh, Starkey here. And look at that Domino. I hate Domino. I hate Domino with a passion. And what that means is that I'm coming for her. I'm not going to run. Or rather, if I run, I'm running right to her. All right? Starkey is actually a really good option. Now, I'm looking over my uh, boost here. And the reason that I use this advanced power boost is because the Alliance War Compensation, I still have one in my overflow, so I need to use them or else they're gonna expire. Uh, so I'm still gonna end up being capped out uh, on these uh, when all is said and done. But, you know, now, why you're seeing this here is because my machine froze. It locked up right as I was about to start the fight. So I paused it. I went over and just recorded it on the iPad itself. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to use my uh, computer reliably to record these things. So I'm back to using the uh, iPad. But just look at that. He wrecked that domino. That is how all domino fights should go. All right, so down goes domino, and I'm still boosted up, still riding high. I said, huh, who else? Well, Havoc, I don't really have a good counter for Havoc on my team. However, look at that thing. And I happen to have Blade. Blade is actually a really good counter for thing. So you do have to deal with Limber. But here's the thing about Limber. Even when I've used up my parries, I will still be able to knock off rock charges when I do parry. Because Limber doesn't keep me from parrying, it just means that the stun is not going to last long enough for me to do anything. But I'm still parrying them, still doing the bleed, and so it'll still reduce the rock, uh, rock charges. All right, so uh, this fight is all about managing his rock charges. All right, you see I pushed him to 15. Now I want to bait out. I do not want to hit him. Uh, I want to bait out. And with the AI nowadays starting to stop blocking in the middle of a combo, it's dangerous to hit into his block, which is one of the ways that you could give him power and push him to a special so you could bait it out. All right, so it's even more important to manage those rock charges, all right? So that's what you see me doing here, all right? You see he's got, he's up to 8, 9, 10, and I'm hoping he doesn't throw his special, all right? He didn't, so then I go in, go to 15, now I got to bait out that special too. So what you saw me doing when I was saying that I hope he doesn't throw his special, I was also holding my block. When you hold your block, they're more likely to attack you rather than throw your, their special. All right, now you see there, I parried him, knocked off those rock charges. All right, so here we go. 
Again, now he needs two more. Got the two with an intercept, baited out the special, and we're doing just fine. Down goes Thing. Nice, smooth, and easy. He can be a royal pain if you do not manage your rock charges. Uh, but when everything goes well, it's a beautiful thing to behold. All right, so now let's find out how we did in this war. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.